The next speaker is CEO of Konis Kangtezin. The title of his presentation is Cases of Copyright Infringement in Webtoons and Web Novels and Technology Trends. Good afternoon. I'm Kang Tezin. I'm the CEO of Konis. Today, I'm going to talk about the trends of copyright infringement in webtoons. Do you like webtoons? Our neighboring country, Japan, has a huge manga industry. The market size is like a six point five trillion dollars and sixty to seventy percent of the global cartoon market is dominated by Japanese manga, which is a cartoon. Webtoons and web novels combined last year the market size was one point eight trillion dollars and next year it will exceed all two trillion dollars. The webtoon industry was so small like as it's small as the publishing industry. But now the webtoon industry is as large as on the entertainment industry. Let's say there is a popular author and he has a fan base and his fans help him have help his work to be exported to other countries like music. Webtoons have low level of culture discount. So the Korean webtoons are recognized as digital content in other countries. But here, as you can imagine, there is a serious piracy issue. So today I'm going to talk about copyright infringement in webtoons. There are infringement websites in Korea as well as in other countries. First, let me briefly introduce you pirated webtoon websites in Korea. You can see the list of the names of a websites, but in your program book, I deleted the names of the websites. The traffic in legal platform such as Naver, Kakao, and any other well-known legal platform. The market size is $33 billion and the illegal platform's market size is like $20 billion. And I did the math again and we had a different result. The number was like $22 billion. New Toki, Manatoki, and Tunko are the top three illegal websites. They account for 70% of the total illegal distribution and the top 10 websites account for 91% of the illegal views of webtoons in Korea. The illegal website is an area where we can see the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. Let me talk about a technology. This is about a change of a domain, which is the biggest obstacle to prevent illegal views of webtoons. The change of domain happens so frequently. If the website is in Korean, it is taken down before it was forced to be removed. But those are websites I introduced on the first page, their domain change frequently like on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday because the, most of the traffic happens during the weekend 
and during the weekend, the official of agencies, government agencies, it is an, uh, the, uh, the weekend is an off hour for officials of government agencies. That is why most of the traffic takes place during weekends. Cafe 24 is a hosting website. If there is a report on those hosting websites, the domain is changed as well. What happens when the domain happens? And the owner of the illegal websites, their biggest worry is how to attract the existing consumer, customer base. And most of the time, they use a they try to redirect their existing customers to a different website. This is what we call nukte.com, and I will tell you more about this on later slides. There are four classic examples. These four, I believe, these four websites are run by the same group of people. Before the domain is controlled, the owners of the websites try to change the domain, and automatic change of the redirect automatic redirection of a domain is often used as well. Let's say you visited 154, you will be directed to 155 automatically. And some people create a page, which is an illegal page. And if you click the page, you are directed to their other websites or other domains, which are also illegal. This is one of the biggest illegal websites for webtoons. This is called Utoki. I added a small link down here. This is called Asong. They added this small link. If you click, you can see where your customers come from. Most of illegal Webtoon users, they use Google, they search the word, and they are directed to these illegal websites. Most of the time, they log in google.com. And here, redirection happens again. So at least 80 to 90 percent of illegal viewers or readers of Webtoons use google.com. There are many sites using Newtoki and Google. So one of the ways to track illegal websites is Google Analytics. This is one of the ways to obtain necessary information, but the information may not be accurate enough. So you may ask why they are running these illegal platforms. The owners of these websites earn profits by placing illegal gambling ads. So if you visit these websites, you are tempted to click the illegal, Ill illegal gambling sites and you are directed to the gambling websites. Even kids in high schools in Korea, they, their first experience of illegal gambling is through websites like these illegal platforms, according to a survey. And these websites present a huge amount of ad traffic. And the ad traffic can generate billions of Korean won, or even more than that, a year. And the way they collect content is that they collect data from other 
illegal platforms or websites. To prevent that, New Toki and Hold Comics and Nictic.com and Bajtoon Group all illegal websites fall into these four categories and they screenshot traffic to prevent others from taking their information or content. And JavaScript recording is also used to cover up image to make image invisible. This is what is happening in illegal websites. Some illegal websites open all information and all you have to do is search in Google. But if you search a certain words in other platforms, you cannot take the information. And semi-automatic crawling bot is often used. They are running their websites like a company. So they are using a crawling bot and trying to take all the information from neighbor and cacao and other uh, portal sites at once. Legal platforms in Korea, they change their viewers. And right after that, new crawler failed to obtain the information so the images were not updated on these websites. So there is this technical barrier. As you can see on the screen, each instead of HTML tag, canvas can be used. So all you have to do is to take the file names. This is reverse proxy and ISP. Most of illegal websites of Webtoon in Korea are using Cloudflare. Google and Cloudflare, therefore, their cooperation, therefore, is very important. And ISPs of a certain countries are often used. Those countries are communist countries like Russia and other communist countries in the world. By splitting image servers, they're trying to circumvent the law enforcement. So three different, there are three different illegal platforms, but the image server is the same. The same image server is shared across the three different platforms. We did a thorough analysis on this. For example, JSON B library, it is provided in different languages. It is also provided in Chinese, and it, is, well, it was using a Chinese annotation. So the pers we suspect the person responsible for coding age Chinese. And illegal websites in Korea, we can track traffic of those sites. But if it is a illegal website in other countries, it is very difficult to track them. There is a illegal piracy sites dedicated to manga, for example. There is also an illegal site in other countries that copy popular content of a webtoon. By providing and presenting some episodes of the content, they are running this illegal platform and they redirect viewers or readers to other sites for to show them the full ver version of the content. Sometimes they use a fake URL. If the web illegal website is in a foreign country, the domain change doesn't happen often. In their response to ISP, 
in recent years, they change their domains more often than before. If you let's say there is a, there is the title of the work right under the title, there is this piece of information, and these illegal websites, they are often reported by Korean users and readers for the illegal practices. But as I said earlier, the domain change of these illegal websites in other countries takes place more often than before. Okay, due to the time constraint, I will finish this soon. So we should come up with some measures to prevent piracy in terms of security, physical security, and control security will be required. So we have to enhance awareness of how serious piracy is when it comes to webtoons. On your way home or on your way work, you will often encounter people reading illegal webtoon content. And I think it will be nice to have a monitoring system in place and for the future of the webtoon industry in Korea. And Google and Cloudflare, they are the two leading websites to discourage piracy of webtoons. So I'm expecting cooperation between the two companies. Korea Intellectual Property Protection Agency and other agencies are working together to prevent piracy, but I hope to see more measures that can be used for prevention of piracy in webtoons. If I understand correctly, the Copyright Act is under revision. I hope the revision is completed sooner rather than later so that we can prevent piracy in webtoons soon. With that, I'd like to conclude my presentation. Thank you very much.